Between two farms near Mercedes Proving Grounds in Amendingen, Germany, I pull the 2025 Mercedes-Benz AMG GT63 SE Performance to a stop on a quiet country road. With my foot on the brake, I switch the steering wheel dial to race mode and then floor the accelerator. The 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster lights up with Race Start Ready, and I release the brake. Zing! The V, 8 engine, and electric motor unleash a surge of power. The Michelin Pilot Sport S5 tires grip the pavement at all four corners, my back presses into the well-contoured sport seat, and the car surges from 0 to 60 miles per hour in what feels close to the 2.7 seconds Mercedes claims for its performance plug-in hybrid. I've just experienced the quickest Mercedes ever, a feat made possible by the flawless integration of gas and electric power. Yet, the winding route from AMG's headquarters in a falterback to Lake Constance, chosen by Mercedes for the media drive, speaks volumes. The route includes brief stretches of Autobahn, few tight corners, and gently curving country roads. Despite being the most powerful car in Mercedes' top-tier sports car lineup, the lack of track time or extensive mountain road driving is telling. This car is simply too heavy. The new Coupe's plug-in hybrid system adds roughly 500 pounds to a car that has already gained 600 pounds in its second generation. As a result, the GT has shifted from a pure sports car to a Grand Tourer, albeit a phenomenally powerful one. Still impressive, but not razor-sharp on the track. Mercedes AMG GT63 SE Performance – Power in Abundance The plug-in hybrid system, a technological marvel also found in the S-Class and AMG GT four-door coupe, combines Mercedes' familiar twin-turbo 4.0-liter V8 with a rear-mounted permanently excited synchronous electric motor. The engine delivers 603 horsepower from 5,750 to 6,750 RPM and 627 lbft of torque from 2,500 to 4,500 RPM. The electric motor contributes 201 horsepower and 236 lbft of torque. Together, they produce an astonishing 805 horsepower and 1,047 lbft of torque. Mercedes has expertly integrated the two propulsion systems, ensuring smooth and predictable acceleration based on pedal input, with no awkward transitions between the gas engine and the electric motor. The familiar deep growl of the Mercedes V8 is present, but so is another, more unusual sound. The eerie synthetic whir of the rear motor. At full throttle, it's like a spaceship landing in the midst of a World War II battlefield. A couple of high-speed runs on the Autobahn reveal that the power doesn't taper off even at higher speeds. Once the traffic clears, I press the accelerator deeply. The speedometer climbs rapidly, 200, 220, 240, 250, 260, 263 km slash h. With my exit approaching, I ease off the throttle, but I've just hit 163 miles per hour with the car feeling rock solid and still capable of more. Another journalist reached 192 miles per hour, which I consider quite bold, and this car is capable of topping out at 199 miles per hour. The plug-in hybrid system is mounted on the rear axle in a complex setup that includes other performance components. The engine's power is transmitted through a 9-speed AMG SpeedShift MCT transmission with a wet clutch, while the rear motor's power is managed by an integrated 2-speed transmission and a limited slip differential. The rear transmission can reach up to 12,500 RPM before shifting gears, which can occur anywhere between 43 to 87 miles per hour. While the engine can drive the front wheels, the rear motor can also contribute, with both power sources turning the drive shaft in the same direction. The center differential then distributes power to the front as needed. A 6.1 kilowatt hour, 4.8 kilowatt hour usable battery located above the rear axle powers the motor, and the entire rear assembly is further enhanced by a rear wheel steering system. Mercedes AMG GT63 SE Performance Electric Power in Action Driving through some of Germany's charming small towns seemed like an ideal opportunity to test the EL electric mode. Running solely on the electric motor, the AMG GT63 SE performance isn't as quick as when the engine is in play, but it's still faster than many other plug-in hybrids. The rear motor provides a continuous 94 horsepower and can deliver its full 201 horsepower in short bursts when the throttle is pressed past a detent at the end of its travel. 
It's got enough power to keep up with traffic in nearly any situation and can reach freeway speeds. Passing on the highway is possible too, though it requires a clear lane and careful planning. The bursts of max electric power are mostly needed when teamed with engine power on a racetrack, for a race start, or during those Autobahn blasts. In a track scenario, the full power will be available for use on long straights, and the Mercedes Track app can sync the car to a track and determine when the best times are for full power. The 400 volt battery is built to handle the quick blasts, too. Derived from F1 technology, each of its 560 cells is liquid-cooled to keep it around its ideal operating temperature of 113 degrees Fahrenheit. That lets the battery dole out power quickly and recover it fairly quickly as well. The small battery provides about 8 miles of electric driving range on the more lenient European WLTP cycle, so that might be 5 or 6 miles on the EPA cycle. However, that doesn't mean the battery easily runs out of charge. EL mode will begin to drain it, but not all the way and switching to the other modes will charge it back up, aided by four levels of Regen that tops out at 0.3G of regenerative braking that doesn't quite bring the car to a stop. During my drive, one electric run takes the battery down to 25%, but switching between Sport and Sport Plus modes brings it back up to 63% after an hour or so as I switch between Max and Minimum Regen. The battery can also be charged at home via its 3.7kW onboard AC charger. An individual drive mode lets drivers get the most performance out of the car while driving on electricity rather than aiming strictly for fuel efficiency. For instance, the driver can choose the Sport or Sport Plus settings for the suspension and loosen the reins of the stability control by opting for the Pro or Master settings of the AMG Dynamic Stability Control System. A louder or softer synthetic sound can also be chosen, and the traction control can be turned off. Mercedes AMG GT63 SE Performance Precise but heavy Budgetary considerations are one reason the second-generation AMG GT weighs more than the first generation. This time around Mercedes has combined the SL and GT lineups on a common platform, with the GT serving as the coupe and the SL as the convertible. It keeps both cars in the lineup, which we applaud, and it makes the SL sportier while adding weight to both. The second-generation GT evolves from a two-seater with a rear transaxle to a longer 2 plus 2 with the transmission moved to the front. With its bigger body, plentiful luxury features, and plug-in hybrid system, the 2025 Mercedes-AMG GT63 SE performance weighs in somewhere north of 4,600 pounds, official figures have not yet been published. So much weight isn't ideal for best handling, but Mercedes employs a lot of performance equipment and advanced suspension technology, along with keen suspension tuning, to make it agile. It starts with a hydraulic link suspension, a la the McLaren 750S, to counteract body roll instead of anti-roll bars. The hydraulic links and the pressure in the system's pump determine the virtual spring stiffness. Corner hard, and the system stiffens up to prevent lean and maintain proper camber for quick turn-in response. Drive straight over a bumpy road, and the system can remain mostly open to soak up bumps. The adaptive dampers also have two hydraulic connections, one for rebound and one for compression, so they can follow along with the spring rates. The stiffness is all adjustable through comfort, sport, and sport plus modes.